Hi everybody, it's Jessica from Tentita Johnson and today I am with my model Natalia and we're going to show you a trick to achieve a uh, yeah, five strand braid actually but just by doing a waterfall braid and a three strand touch braid. So for this I'm sectioning off on both sides of the middle part line the top hair so I'm just taking the crown hair, clipping it away you see it's more or less three fingers wide that is one and a half inch more or less clip this away and then take the rest of the hair into a low ponytail so that it does not tangle with the top hair that you're going to braid I'm using some spray gel, you can use water I am taking just in a triangle shape the front section I'm splitting this into three equal strength left under right under left under and then I lose let loose hang the strand in the front now again left under right under adding in some hair from the top hair a part of the strand coming from the top I am leaving loose and then again the model can hold these strands like this the braid does not unravel take again the strand from the top bring it under and then just take a bit more than the half from that strand that comes from the top um, and give it to your model to hold it braid tightly to the scalp and always take apart when there's no more hair to add in I am using some hair gel to make that the strands look neater and I'm braiding tightly until the end and there we are going to secure it with a tiny elastic. These are now our waterfall strands. You could even leave the style like this but we want to achieve a multiple strand braid so I'm taking the first three and with these first three I do two I make three equal strands and I'm starting to make a regular Dutch braid incorporating now the hair from under so from the face framing hair hold the strands take the next waterfall strand bring the right under and oh this unraveled <laughs> so be patient with yourself make it look neat and if you have to open something you just open it and braid it again incorporate from the top layer the waterfall strands and when you bring the strand under from the right hand side you add in hair that is over the ear and then more than over the ear I would not go here I'm adding in some hair gel comb it through the neater you comb your strands the prettier will be the final result keep on braiding you see that I'm turning the strands a bit inwards that is when you work with layers and together with the hair gel you can avoid that there are little hairs sticking out all the hair that we do not need goes into the low ponytail here I used against braid gel for the top layer this gives me an extra grip I split again into three sections and I start to braid with the strand from the top and after one stitch I start to incorporate braid uh, hair from the top and my model can start to hold the strands again just incorporating hair from the top is like a lace braid but you take from the strand that is down always a portion that you leave out as a waterfall strand and this is what combines later with the hair from over the ear to the second braid and in combination of these two braids we make the illusion of a multiple strand braid like a five strand braid keep on braiding until there's no more hair to incorporate and when you have that you just braid until the very end this little portion of hair and secure with a tiny elastic these 
these are our waterfall strands take again the first three oh I took the first two and then I add in hair from down sorry and then you keep on braiding adding in hair only now from the left hand side that is the hair over the ear taking a waterfall strand from the top layer bringing it under the middle then the left under the middle incorporating hair right goes under the middle left under incorporating hair and when we are above the ear we stop adding in hair and we have a bigger braid now we're going to braid it down until the very end so that our final result will be four braided ponytails or Dutch braids this is our final result I curled her hair and made waves and here I'm incorporating a crossing over the braids by using the topsy tail tool you see the little ones were crossed already and now I cross them again by the sides and this makes this beautiful effect this is our final result I hope you like it if this is the case and you're new on our channel don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up leave me a comment down below any question will be answered I'm happy to see you back here soon bye bye thank you for watching